Braising is a cross between roasting and stewing. You concentrate the flavor in order to get a very velvety, concentrated and delicious sauce. I'm preparing a, a veal shoulder with uh, mushroom and riesling. I'm gonna stud some garlic cloves into the meat, place also under the strings, couple of savory branches. I will roast first, give it a nice color. You never know how uh, hot the oil is or not. So if you take a little corner and it does sing, then you can place the roast inside. And I'm using a dry Riesling wine for the preparation uh, to make the liquid of the braise. And also I had some wonderful spring turnips here which were peeled and sliced. And the mushroom. So they are the three elements. Here now I just add the turnips and now I'm gonna add the mushroom. And here I have a different array of domestic and wild mushroom. Just add the mushroom just around here. I always make sure that I have basically as much meat than I have vegetable once it's all finished. It becomes the garnish to serve with the braise. Now that I have sort of sweat nicely the uh, garnish of turnips, mushroom, leeks and shallots, I'm gonna add the wine which is the big part in the braising is the liquid you put. So what's important is to bring the liquid up to about halfway over the roast, like that. Not really swimming in it, but definitely getting its feet wet. So now it's time for the braise to go to the oven. Voila. Let it braise. Mmm, this smells wonderful. I can smell the fact that it's done here. And of course you want to have a lot of sauce around your braise. And what I love to put is, of course, a little bit of fresh herbs on top as well. This is fresh parsley, you can use chervil, you can use a little bit of chive, voila. Veal shoulder braise with mushroom, turnips, and Riesling. Now that I show you how to braise in my home kitchen, let me show you how we cook in the real kitchen. Now this is cooking. <laughs> 